Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today work continues on this Bali Theater of Magic Pinball Machine. One of the problems I'm having with this is these darn end stroke switches on the flippers are not registering. Now, this game uses a Fliptronic board which doesn't really need the end stroke, but it is still sent back to the switch matrix, so it's not registering as giving me a credit dot. I'm trying to figure out where the problem is and why. I checked the switches underneath the flippers and they're all working and everything seems to be fine. So now the next test is to check whether it's something on the boards in the back or it's in the wiring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how you can trigger a switch from the backboard. In this case we're going to trigger the end of stroke switches on the flippers and see whether or not the prob where the problem is, get an idea. So, this is a diagram of the flipper circuit in the machine, and this is the Fliptronics board that controls the flippers. These are the connectors going in and out, and uh, we see from the power driver board we have power going into the Fliptronics board. We have power for logic, we also have power for the actual coils. And then we have the switches from the cabinet going into the board. And then we also have the wires going out to the coils that fire the flippers. This is a diagram for a four flipper game. Um, Theater of Magic only has two flippers, so we only need to be concerned about the lower right and the lower left. And then up here is connector J906 on the Fliptronics board, and this is where the end of stroke switches come in. So we can see um, lower right flipper and lower left flipper are pins one and pin three. So what we're going to do is and ground is on pin six. What we're going to do is we are going to short pins one and pin three to ground. So we'll put the game in switch test and then we'll get on the board in the back and we'll mess with these pins and see if we can trigger a switch. What we're effectively doing is bypassing the flipper circuit in the play field and going right up to the board. So if the test doesn't work, we know the problem is on the Fliptronics board, possibly with one of the LM339s. If, if it does work, then we know the problem is with the wiring. So we're going to go up here, and I've already got two jumpers set up, as you can see. <clears throat> this is tied to, I believe, pin 3 on the Fliptronics board. I've got it in a switch test, and then this is a ground, just a generic ground, so I'll, I'll take this and I'll touch it. And you see, there we go, we get left flipper and a stroke. Okay, so we are able to trigger it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to the, the ground on this, and we're going to see whether or not that ground is grounded. So let's see um, if this works. Okay, it does not. Okay. <clears throat> so this particular ground lead may not be grounded, and this could be the problem. I'm going to make sure that it's there. Yeah, we're not getting it. So that could be the problem. This is the cabinet switches. Once again, I'll connect it back to ground here in the back box. Touch it. Okay. <clears throat> Move the pin over to the other pin. And then check the other end of stroke. And we get it. Okay. So we know that the Fliptronics board is working properly. The problem is these are the end of stroke switches. So somewhere between where it connects in here and down here, something's broken. Uh, this is uh, this is not grounded. I don't know if it's grounded somewhere else down here or this ground is supposed to tie into that. But um, now what I have to do is check continuity here. Or more appropriately, what I'll do to save time <clears throat> is I will I'll pull the play field up and I'll look for this wire, this set of wires underneath the play field in particular areas where it's likely to be pinched or damaged because there's a good possibility that this wire just got broken. Pulling the playfield up and down, it got pinched somewhere. It may be obvious, but 
I will follow it through the thing, check continuity, and see if I can figure out what the problem is. So that's one way you can identify whether you're looking at a problem on the boards in the back or whether it's down here in the play field. <clears throat> so that's basically it. For more, visit uh, pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.